So yeah, I just wanted to spend a couple minutes talking about uh, partner developer relations. Um, <clears throat> So we're uh, are your developer advocates, and um, <clears throat> so we work with partners. Um, hence the term partner developer relations. So partners meaning game developers like you, and um, <clears throat> so we're all um, engineers. Uh, so we're on the technical side of things. We're not on the business side of things. Um, and all of us, pretty much all of us, have worked with game companies before in the past. So we have some understanding of the difficulties that you have to go through. Um, <clears throat> we're located around the world uh, in various locations in North America, EMEA, and APAC. And as I mentioned, we work closely with partners. Sometimes we make uh, visits to partners and actually work on site to help with performance or help debug problems. Uh, we also have meetings and uh, emails with partners. Also, um, you should consider us your first uh, point of contact for technical questions. Um, another thing we do is to uh, tell developers at events such as this about new technology uh, related to games from Google. And uh, one of the most important things that we do is gather feedback from developers on how we can improve our products. So, I encourage you to, to all give us as, uh, honest feedback on how you think we can improve. And um, you know, feel free, free to do it today, especially. It's a good time. Uh, get in, you know, go ahead and ask questions or make suggestions during the meetings today. So one of the things we've been doing recently is uh, focusing on high fidelity games. And this is because we're seeing this trend because of the improvement in mobile uh, hardware that's capable of running games that you know, traditionally are on consoles or PCs. And uh, the thing is, it's, this really uh, stresses the system. It requires a lot of the system. And so things like Vulkan are important for rendering to get the most performance. And so one of the things I did was I looked and see, saw how, much, how many devices actually support Vulkan. And you can do this by going into the Play Store in the device catalog. And uh, you can see there's uh, about 400 uh, devices. It's probably more now. And uh, those are device models that support Vulkan. And this turns out to be about 427 million, getting close to half a billion devices now that support Vulkan. Now, this doesn't mean all of those devices are capable of running your game. Uh, there could be problems where the hardware isn't fast enough, or there could be problems with the driver quality. So this is something that uh, you, you would need to test. Uh, so as I mentioned, it's, uh, uh, these high fidelity games are really pushing the limits. And so we, our job is we want to improve that ecosystem, make things better for, for developers of, of these types of games. So today, uh, for example, in these sessions, we're going to be talking about uh, Vulkan, Samsung, and, and Crytek are going to be talking about their experience uh, of working with Vulkan and, and trying to optimize. And then uh, because these games are more complex than like a casual game, they require good tools for debugging and profiling. And so we have sessions on Android Studio and Gapid and SysTrace. These are tools for debugging and profiling. Uh, we recognize that these are important to have, and we're going to continue to improve these tools. Um, <clears throat> also, uh, because of the wide variety of devices out there and capability of devices and driver quality, uh, and testing is, is very important for these types of games. So we have a session on automated testing uh, by NetEase, which should help improve or improve the time required for testing. And also, uh, Plarium is going to talk about using uh, device catalog in the Play console for having to, uh, helping them to select which devices to run their games on. Uh, last thing I want to mention is we are going to have office hours this week during uh, I.O., Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, I have a QR code here, if you can grab that. 
Uh, this will link to a site where you can schedule office hours with us, one hour slots. Um, also, you can check your email. I think I sent out something about office hours. And on the event website, there's a link to it. Or you can just talk to me, and I'll schedule something for you. Uh, it will, it'll, be, it'll be held at uh, a building on Crittenden Lane, which is right across the street from Shoreline Amphitheater, so not too far from uh, I.O.